my sister, you with me? The sun, you like the sun, right? It's beautiful, right? It gives us warmth, it gives us light in the day, right? Is it for the night though? It's not, even though you like it, it's for the night, it's not for the day. I mean, it's for the day, it's not for the night, right? Right, same as the moon. The moon doesn't light the day because that's what it's for, it's to light the night. So God created everything perfectly for its purpose. Read that. The book of Surat, chapter 42 and verse 19. Read. He declares the things that are past and for to come and reveals the steps of hidden things. So this is God giving you his, giving you the understanding. He knows everything. He understands what you don't. You can't understand everything that he understands. Read. Watch, follow me. Watch Verse this. 20. Come no on. thought escapeth him. Listen, sis, you know, we say, so So why he make it then? That don't make no sense. Read that again. No thought escapeth him. He ain't forget nothing. He ain't make no mistakes. He said no thought. So you, hold on, I got you, I got you. And I want your questions too, sis, but I want to finish because they're going to shut us down in a minute. So he says no thought escaped him, right, sis? So everything you can think of, he did that thousands, he did that th millions of years ago. He already thought your thought. Watch this, read. Neither any word is hidden from him. And he hears everything, read. He hath garnished the excellent works of his wisdom. Who knows what a garnish is? A garnish is a finishing touch. Meaning what he created, he finished it, it's done, it's a wrap. He done everything perfectly with his wisdom. Hold on, I got you, so just give me a second, come on. It's a little bit more to this, read. And he is from everlasting to everlasting. He's from everlasting to everlasting. He wasn't born, neither will he diminish. He's from everlasting to ever, everlasting. This is the most high God. This is the wisdom of an eternal God, an immortal God, read. Neither can be diminished. Come on. Neither can be, di oh, sorry. Neither can be diminished, uh -huh. neither can be added, Come on. neither can be diminished, and he has no need of any counselor. He don't need anybody to give him advice on what he's created right. or what he's going to do. Watch this, read. Oh, how desirable are all his works. Don't we desire the sun? But if it was nighttime, don't you, when you, how much would you like the sun if you was trying to sleep? We do believe in the Holy Spirit, and I'm going to show you what it is. We do, absolutely. But listen, follow me. Read that part again. Oh, Read that part. It's not. I'm going to I'm gonna break that down for you. Come on. Oh, how desirable are all his works. It says, how, how desirable are all his works. How beautiful is the sun. But it's not for the night. So as you can see, the sun is going down. So what can shine? The moon, because God created that for the night. Ain't that desirable, the moonlight? When we look and we say how beautiful it is, and when it's up in the daytime, the sun is up in the daytime, we say, man, that sun feel good. Man, that, that uh, we got this good sunlight out now. Man, we got this good, beautiful black skin absorbing off. We love it in its proper order, right? You with me? Read that part again. Oh, how desirable are all his works. Like the swine. The swine is nothing wrong with the pig. It's just something wrong with eating it. I'm gonna tell now let's get into why God created the swine. It has a purpose just like the sun and the moon and the stars and oxygen has a purpose, right? right? Your black skin has a purpose, That's right? Yes, right? Watch this. So everything God created, it has a purpose. God's purpose for the swine was to do what? Let me ask you a question. What's the diet of a pig? What does, anything. anything, right? What happens to you if you eat anything? Go eat some nails or glass. Go eat poop off the ground. Listen to, but you understand what I'm saying. You can't eat everything or you'll die. But does a pig die? Does a swine die when he eats anything? That's why God created to clean the earth so that you ain't walking in filth. So that his beautiful babies ain't walking in filth. God created the swine to filter and clean the earth. That is not for your consumption, princess. That's not for your consumption. You're you're better because they're demons. And they don't know the, good, the, the glory of God. They don't know the commandments of God. And they hate you, and they would that you continue in sin. Right. I mean, it makes sense. I, it's, you have it, and heart attacks, and blood disease, uh, a gout, diabetes. The list goes on and right. on and on until you're dead. Watch this. Read on. And that a man, and that a man, me, you, come on, may see even to a spark. Come on. All these things live and remain forever. What God created from the beginning. It's still the same to this day. Right. There ain't nothing new. He garnished the excellent work, his excellent works when he did it the first time he did it. When he said, don't eat pork in the Old Testament, he meant that forever. He ain't make a mistake to where he changed it now. He meant it. So you, 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 you enlighten me. 
Thank you. All praise. Thank what else you got, sis? Nothing right now, but I got to okay. take my knees home. All right, so what's the Holy? Give me the Holy Spirit and ask real quick. I'm going to give you this one scripture so that you understand what the Holy Spirit is. Now, we can go into it's deep, but we ain't got. We might not have enough time to break it all down for you. But I'm going to show you what the Holy Spirit is. Because if everything, now all your questions, I'm going to tell you, sis, they all lead back to the commandments. Any question you're going to have a, a, according to God or the Bible, it's always going to lead back to keeping God's commandments. Right. It's always, it's always going to lead back to that. You read from Sirach, right? That was Sirach, yes ma'am. Okay. The That's book of Acts, chapter 7, verse... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what's your question, sorry. That was one of the books that was lost, right? Yes ma'am, I, I right. like you. My sister is on it. My sister on it. All praise. Watch this, read. Yeah. The book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 51. Watch this. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised... Now this is a prophet of the Most High God called Stephen, right? He's teaching all the people who are supposed to be keeping God's laws. He's calling them stiff-necked and uncircumcised. What does it mean to be circumcised? That means to be abiding in the covenant of God. Right. Abiding in the in, in the righteousness, the discipline of God. So he's saying you stiff neck, which is what? Hard headed. What we call the baby? You, you hard headed, you stiff neck, right? He's calling these brothers and sisters that are supposed to be keeping the commandments of God stiff neck and uncircumcised, meaning they're not keeping God's law. Because they already know better than you. Right, exactly. Now watch this, come on. Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised and heart and ears. Your heart is your mind. Your ears is what you hear with. Right. So when we hear correction, now we're supposed to obey that by God's commandments. Right. Not, not man, but if God said don't do it, we're not supposed to do it. So when he say you sniff neck your heart, and in ears, it's talking about you know to do and you ain't going to do. And even when you get corrected, you ain't going to fix it. Right. Read. Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. You do always resist what? The Holy Ghost. So what are they hearing? And what is it that they're supposed to have in their mind that they're resisting? God, God said the Holy Ghost. The prophet Stephen said, Stephen said the Holy Ghost. So y'all just don't call it the Trinity. No, the truth. No, the, so, the, so, so when it says, let me break this down real quick. Give me Judges 20, verse 3. Judges 20, verse 3. Let me break this. Let me help you out. Because when it says these three are one, it don't mean that they're one entity. It just means that they're in, in they're all in agreement. Right. God, remember, who sent Christ to earth? Who sent Christ? I'm going to show you. Give me God, God 8 after Christ. this. God, say it again. God sent, God sent Christ. That makes them two different entities, right? But he then, left the Holy Spirit here. Who left the Holy Spirit? The Lord did. The Lord. Jesus left the Holy Spirit, right? But when we read in Acts just now, it said that you all, you stiff neck in, 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 in ears and in heart, which is your mind, right? Meaning. Meaning, it's something that Christ left as far as his teaching, as far as what you saw Christ do, as far as when Christ came and upgraded the cities to stop their sin, to keep God's laws. That's what the Holy Ghost is. It's God's laws. by example. Is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord.